So my role as a physiotherapist here uh, for, the, for the first team is to see the boys on a daily basis and kind of tend to any sort of injury concerns they may have. Um, it may be a case that I see somebody come in with a new injury or, or some sort of concern and I need to do an assessment with them. Um, it may be the case that I've got a boy or a couple boys who are currently doing some rehab so I might need to go up to the gym with them and do some treatment with them here in the physio room um, and yeah I kind of go typically all the way through from assessment um, to gym based rehab stuff, treatment stuff here in the physio room and then uh, hopefully if it's a case of getting one of the boys back into the team uh, we take them out onto the pitch and do sort of return to play kind of stuff on the pitch, you know, kind of running um, and then sort of gradually building them back into the position where they can go back into training uh, and then hopefully back into the game as well. So there's a whole big timeline um, and yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing on a daily basis. <laughs> it can actually get really, really busy in here sometimes. You can have like five, six boys all coming in at the same time telling you, oh, I need this, I need that, I need this done, this, that. And it's all quite like a, a quick, fast paced environment um, when that happens. But generally the boys come in and um, sometimes it's just to have a little chat um, or sometimes they're just needing little maintenance things, things to keep them ticking over, a little bit of treatment. You know, it might just be something as simple as, you know, maybe they're feeling a wee bit tight, a wee bit fatigued. So some um, some manual work in terms of massage to help with that or you know we might use uh, the ultrasound machine um, to kind of help promote any sort of healing if boys are like recovering from strains or anything like that and um, also we've got our game ready all these other bits of equipment as well in here which kind of just keep them ticking over it's not necessarily a case of they're needing to go be out for two three four weeks plus whatever it is it's maybe just little things to keep them going throughout the week in terms of their um, training and then making sure that they're in a place they're able to manage the game on a Saturday but it can get quite mad in here sometimes the boys coming in with a bit of banter and stuff like that but you know it's it's all fun and it's uh, it's a nice lively environment and I'm loving it so it's good. In the gym it's just about starting to get the range of motion coming back uh, starting to look at uh, strengthening um, and, and all that sort of good stuff that will help them then build to the next phase in, in the return to play. I had both Hendo and uh, Tom up there, both, uh, well it's Hendo with his calf and, and Tom um, with his knee, so both sort of slightly longer term uh, rehabs. Um, at that point when I'm up in the gym with them, uh, we've kind of we've gone through the, the, the first sort of phase uh, in our return to play where we've kind of managed uh, pain, swelling, uh, any sort of symptoms that may be stopping them from doing any kind of exercise or movement. With Hendo, um, when we were up there, um, we were doing stuff for his calf, um, so we were looking to uh, do strength work with him because he, he, he seems to respond really well to that. Um, Tom, uh, it was more sort of like um, pre-op kind of stuff we were doing so this was before he went and got his operation done um, so we were just trying to get him to a place where he was functionally sound and in a strong enough place to go in and manage the surgery itself um, and yeah we spent a lot of time there with him post-op as well and um, as we go through his uh, his rehab I'd actually say match day is probably one of like the the easier days for me in terms of like Every, the kind of the, the build up to match match day, all the, the work and preparation has kind of been done on the day. It's very much just um, kind of uh, whatever the players wish. They've all got sort of rituals and stuff that they do on a match day. So it's kind of letting them do what they need to do. Typically a match day for me would, you know, I, I arrive, the boys come in, there might be a few boys that mention me beforehand saying they need certain treatments or they want this or that or I need to bring something for them. Just stuff to get them ready to go out on the pitch really. So kind of massage work, um, maybe some, uh, just do some exercises with them uh, and then they just kind of need bits and pieces, you know, if it's simple things like need some deep heat or just things to kind of, uh, that they are used to having on their, on their match day. And then once we go out, um, and the, the game starts then I kind of take up more of like a, a kind of like a first aider type role where um, you know I'm responding to anything that's happening on the pitch um, and then you know fingers crossed a good day for me is not actually having to go on the pitch um, so uh, you know sometimes you have to go on we have to respond to what's happening on the pitch if they're injured or if an incident's happened or anything like that 
and then post match, um, yeah, it's just if anybody's picked up anything, is there any sort of treatment or anything I can give them uh, in the meantime between you know the end of match day and them coming in on the Monday. Also, at the end of uh, uh, at the end of a game, there's also the the pizza as well, which is lovely. So I like that too. So that's a typical match day for for me. I've gotten the gotten a chance to come in at a time where you know we're doing really really well, um, and it makes it even more exciting. It makes me even more motivated to, you know, I mean, I've just come in, but even just elevate my game even more, like take my my ability to to that next to that next stage. It's made some of my aspects of my job a lot easier, which is nice, especially as I'm just kind of uh, easing myself in and coming into the club. Um, and it's allowed me to really just get to know all the players, all the staff. Um, you know, it's really hit home in terms of how um, how big this club is and how um, important not just the players and the staff are, but all the fans as well. Um, it's just a really nice community and a nice thing to be a part of going forward. I can really see that there's a vision with this club, which is brilliant, and, and hopefully I can be here for as long as I can with them. Um, and yeah.